Hey everybody, what we're going to do today is we're going to take the project outside of Director and outside the 360 fly environment and we're going to see what we can do inside Final Cut. A lot of people might want to add a soundtrack or cut it up or just do a little bit more editing than can be done in our, in our current software. So I wanted to explain certain basics and how to get it in and export it and do that stuff in Final Cut Pro. This is basically just a, an overview. I might not have the same uh, version as you, so if anything's different, it's kind of just the high-level way to think about using 360 video inside uh, another nonlinear editing program. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new project. And you can see I get a custom video properties. I'm not going to set on the based on the first clip. I'm going to go custom, then I'm going to choose custom. And it's right here. It's going to let me go 1504 by 1504, keeping the dimensions exactly the same is one of the biggest things when you're editing this. And the frame rate is 29.9. So once that's set, we're going to say uh, 360 demo, and we're going to click OK. It's going to give me a new project. I want to do a new event, which is our little demo, just to clear everything out. So I am going to import just a 360 clip that I have from CES this year. Uh, the booth set up maybe a little bit. So once I have it, I can just grab a little piece. You'll see it comes up as a circle. Drag it to the timeline. Here it is a 1504 by 1504 a spherical video. So this is what you're dealing with basically when you're editing the raw files straight off the camera. Uh, the other one, you know, as in the other tutorial, is when you, when you un unwrap it or flatten it out. That's equal rectangular. You can do that in Director. Some people like to edit with that file instead of the spherical file. But with whatever file you do edit in a nonlinear editor, you will have to add metadata to it. Two ways to do that are to either bring it back into Director if it's spherical, or if it's equal rectangular, you can use the YouTube metadata tool at the very end to, to put the data back into it. But right now, we're just going to keep it spherical. We're going to, you know, maybe you know, grab a couple sections here um, and here, put them back to back or change the brightness, you know, add a fade or do whatever. But we're going to keep the spherical 1504 by 1504 um, aspect to it. So now that you have it in and you have it ready, you did whatever you needed to do, you can then export it. I'm going to go to share because I don't want to get into kind of setting it up for um, compressor right now, but y y the same things apply as long as you keep certain things the same. You have to make sure that it's a 1504 by 1504. It's 29.9 frames per second. And then in the settings tab, make sure it's an H.264. Um, and then go ahead, name it, 360 demo. I'll show you where that comes out once it's done on my desktop. There it is. It shows up. It's still spherical. Okay, so in order to get back into desktop, what I'm going to do, it came out as an MOV. Uh, in Compressor, you can save it as an MP4, but for, for this purpose, I'm going to change the MOV to MP4. And then what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to bring it back into Director. And you'll be able to see here, hold on, let me drag it in, that you can then play it. Okay, so there was a little cut between the two, you know, I'm not going to get into the editing. Editing is the same as, as anything else, but uh, it, there's your entire video. What I like to do since, since it was a MP4 is I like to use the trim and then just save it out one more time so that it puts all the metadata back into it. 360 trim. It's going to save it out. 
I'll find it. Here. Okay, so here's the one that I just did. Now it's a true MP4, has metadata, uh, says it's an up, upward facing video. It's fine. If I wanted to save this out to, to share it, I um, Alt on a Mac, click the share button. And what it will do is it will put, now it's, it's unwarping it, making it equirectangular, putting in the metadata for YouTube, putting in the metadata for, for Facebook. And I can then upload this file when it's done directly to YouTube or Facebook. Um, otherwise, this gives me an actual copy of the file. I could go through the share button without doing the, op, the alt click. And what that would do is um, would just directly put it up. So let me see here. I can shrink this down for you. You can see the flattened version of the file that I have, and it's ready for YouTube and Facebook. So. That's just a quick kind of overview of the settings for Final Cut Pro. Really easy. Experiment with them. The, the most important thing is keep it a 1504 by 1504, 2997 frames per second, H.264. Um, bring it in as that and export it as that. And then you can bring it back into Director uh, and flatten it and get it up to YouTube or Facebook. I hope that helps solve some questions. Um, just leave some comments in the forum if you have any other questions. Appreciate it. Thanks.